Hello, Thomas here, your speed reading coach. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can read technical material. So for instance, if you're studying IT, medicine, law, or if you're just into reading technical books, for instance, you're a singer who wants to learn more about his voice. In this video, I'm going to give you exactly how to actually go faster through that technical material, because when you read faster, a lot of the time you lose the comprehension. And there are some specific techniques you can also use for the more technical material that can actually enhance your speed, your comprehension, and then your long-term retention. So first of all, I have to say that technical material is gonna be technical material, and you cannot just make it easier like that. Because, you know, it's just more technical than reading Harry Potter. If you're uh, studying law, it's gonna be a, a bit more difficult of a material than reading Harry Potter, right? So when we know that, what we need to do then is simply uh, realize that, okay, it's gonna be a bit more tough. It's gonna be a bit more of a challenge. And uh, by accepting that, that is gonna be just naturally more difficult material to read, we can already know and be prepared for it. So that's the number one. We want to be aware that the material is gonna be difficult, more difficult than uh, usual perhaps, and that we need to focus on it more. So that's number one. And then the number two thing is we want to be aware and stay focused. So that's very, very important. When reading technical material, perhaps it's also not the, the most of interest to us. For instance, if you're studying law and you may not, or you know, you're studying law and then you have a physics book to go through. That may be the case. So that may be completely out of your um, interest. We hope that it's not. I hope that it's gonna be something that you know, you're gonna be interested in anyways. Uh, for instance, as I mentioned, the singer learning about voice. But if you are lear learning something, reading something that you're not that interested in, you must be aware of your level of focus. So number two is focus. And how do you have that higher level of focus? Well, there's uh, several, several things you can do. Number one, basically to remain focused, what you need to do is be aware of uh, any tension that is building up. If you're relaxed when you're reading, when you're learning, you're naturally gonna be more focused. So you want to observe your body, okay, am I getting tense here or am I not? And at the same time, as you are observing your body, you want to see, do I need to take a break? So you see, okay, is my attention going out way too much? If it is, then I may just want to go ahead and take a break, and that's fine too. Uh, because when we start, we're at the peak level of focus, we're at the peak level of performance. And as we're reading, it's slowly and slowly, slowly going down. And if we're super down here at 10% of, of comprehension, of course, you know, it's a waste of time to read. So why not instead take a few minutes of a break, perhaps even look up more difficult words that you wanted to look up, perhaps even, you know, do some stretching, grab some coffee or tea, and then continue uh, after that. So very important to take breaks if it's more technical material, take breaks constantly. That's the number one thing for focus. Another key thing for focus is to make sure you're at the state of relaxed alertness. Now to do that, simply the most uh, simple technique is to put your hand out like this. So simply play with me here and put your right hand out. And imagine that on your right hand, there's a small tangerine. If you don't know what's a tangerine, it's kind of like an orange. Okay, so imagine that there's a small tangerine inside of your hand and focus all of your attention there. As your attention is there, simply feel the tangerine on your hand. Simply notice its texture, notice its color, notice how it looks and how it feels and how it smells even. Simply put full your attention fully on the tangerine and that's a common speed reading technique so that's not just a weird thing I'm coming up. So focus your all of attention, all of it on the tangerine. And as you have it there in your hand, simply put it above the back of your head and just leave it just a little bit up from the back of your head and let your hand down and keep your attention on the tangerine which is, which is j just above the top of the back of your head and simply visualize it. Now do you notice how even just by that quick exercise you see your attention is more focused, you're more fully here and it just took you 20-30 seconds to do that. So that's the number two for being focused and uh, use this tangerine technique or just simply observe if there's any tension anywhere in your body and continue. So that has already helped you to not lose focus when you do this in the beginning and if you feel like you lose focus, 
sometime in between uh, reading. And the last uh, thing that I have to say about actually going through the technical material is uh, kind of testing yourself as you're reading and saying, am I actually uh, comprehending this information? And the number three, which actually I'm going to give you a quick drill for, is making sure that you're actually comprehending even as you're reading at faster speeds. So whenever you're reading a paragraph, actually see, okay, did I get a couple of things from this paragraph? And what you want to do here is you want to write down one to, to three keywords that you took from that paragraph. So immediately on the book or on a piece of paper, simply write those down. And already that's going to be quite good of a measure whether you have actually understood something or not. So doing that is going to help you make sure that you're focused because you know when you finish the paragraph you have to write down the keywords from the paragraph on the piece of paper or on the book. And that already is creating notes. So that brings us to the to the essence of this is we want to be to like sum it all up. How do you remember and how do you read faster? How do you actually remember what you read is we want to be instead of note taking which is simply blindly taking it down all, all the notes like what I'm saying here if you're just writing down every single word or when you're at school if someone's writing something on a board and you're just writing that down word by word by word that's just note taking in reality we want to make it more like note creating which is either mind mapping it or just simply changing the form which is creatively organizing those notes so whenever we're reading something we want to uh, put it down in a fashion that is kind of similar to us, that is um, specific, that helps us understand, that helps us relate to it. So instead of just saying, okay, this is just the speed reading thing and just taking it down blindly, you say, okay, I can use it here, I can use it here when reading these books and even almost imagine yourself doing that. So that, that's what I wanted to, to sum it up with and finalize it with is instead of note taking and being lazy, create those notes that are going to resonate with you the most. And finally, what I have to say to this is make sure that you maintain your focus when you're reading. And at the same time, make sure that uh, you're fully there with the material. So focus on the speed and then make sure you actually comprehend it. So go slower even if you need to and make sure you actually translate that into your long term memory through as doing as much practice as you need to to actually get it so that's all i had to say to that if you have any comments please leave them in a in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe and finally i'll see you guys soon in the next videos <laughs> So, so here with two of my new buddies. Yeah, just, hello. Just, we just are having a couple of beers. Buddies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're 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 in Lithuania here. Yes. So what do what do you have to say to we to have the audience? To say one thing. Yes, please. Fuck. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. We are Lithuania. We are good here. We are drinking a lot. Right. <laughs> Which is the best in Lithuania? <laughs> yes, one four yeah. to ten. When I was in my exam, I don't remember well when this is my Jalgarush, but I remember the Alak. And I know that it's 1 for 10. And it's a Jalgarush. Okay. okay, thank you guys for watching. Stay high, stay good, stay. Uh, and fuck bitches, yeah. Dawai. Hear the man. <laughs>